Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. I take this another time to share with you the word of God that is written in the book of Mark. Uh, 16, 15. I want you to open with me as I go. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow, those, shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. I take this chance and time to kind of introduce myself to you so that you can know me well. I'm Bishop Samuel Maroche, born again Christian. I'm uh, running a ministry called The Finished Work at Calvary here in Kenya. I want to talk about the name of God and what it really does at, and what it entails. A name of every human being or a name of a thing is there to identify him. We are given names to identify us. My name is Samuel. Nothing more, nothing less, apart from identification. But the name that I've mentioned, the name of Jesus Christ, is a name that was given during the grace period that is called in Greek Shavuot. And we got a name before the name of Jesus Christ was brought to us that was called Jehovah. Jehovah meant redemption, delivering people. In fact, the word Jehovah was given to Moses when Moses was being given a commission and a mission to go and deliver the people of Israel from the hands of Egyptians, Moses asked God, that is good now you're sending me to Pharaoh. In case I reach there, and the Egyptians ask me of my God, what answer shall I give them? And then God told him, that I am whom I am. In other words, that I am God the deliverer. I am God the beginning and the end. I am the God the creator of universe and the heavens. I am the creator of everything that is seen and are not seen. I am whom I am. That was the period of old age the period of low age that God used to punish people. That's why if anybody could be found sinning, stones were to be showered upon him until he died. It was not easy during that time. Should I call it was time for teeth and tat? And it was also time for tat and teal. That if somebody could be found fornicating or doing adultery, he was to be stoned and died. That was the period of law, the dispensation of law, or the law age. But when Jesus came, still with the same name, Jehovah, but given another name, that is called Jesus. Jesus is a Hebrew word. 
that means Christus in Greek. The meaning of the word means the Savior, the Redeemer, the Messiah, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. There is something that I want to bring home so that you can get me right. People have got names. But their characters are not hidden within the names. I might be called Samuel. But my characters are not hidden within the name Samuel. That is the difference between Jesus' name any other name. The characters of God, the attributes of God, the power and authority of God are all invested in the name Jesus Christ. And that's why it is written in the Bible that the name Jesus is greater than any other name that is found beneath the earth, within the earth, and in the sky. No any other name that bears the character of the bearer. Praise the Lord. I hope you are getting me. It is the same name that the Bible says that at the mention of that name, the devil trembles. Because the name has got a unique identification. It has a unique classification. It has a unique disposition and position. The name Jesus Christ. It was given during the new dispensation, the dispensation of grace, the age of grace, the age of Shavuot, the age where the sinners are not killed and stoned, the age that the sinners are forgiven and given another name, and the past goes and the new comes. That is the period where the name Jesus is used. The name Jesus has got power to take your life around, to give you a new revelation, to give you a new protection, a divine protection from heaven. The name Jesus is the only name that trembles the devil. The only name that has got authority over the natural and the supernatural. The same name, Jesus Christ. I want you to understand that we got very big names of the past. Those who conquered the world. We had kingships and kingdoms. We had so many people that conquered the world, whose names would have saved people from the bondages of sins, whose names could have saved us from the bondages of the devil. But they could not do that because their names were only used to identify them as kings and queens. But the name Jesus Christ has gone beyond identification. It is a name that when mentioned, even if the demonic chains have been put around you, that you cannot proceed on, you cannot go back, you cannot develop, you cannot go up. The name Jesus will loosen the chains. I'm talking about the name that is above every name. We have many kingdoms with distinct
distinct responsibilities and powers. But none of this kingdom has ever ruled the world, ruled the heavens, ruled the skies, and ruled the underneath. Rule the seas and the oceans and the lakes. But the name Jesus Christ is a name that all the fishes in the sea are bowed to. Is a name that all the birds in the air are bowing to. Is a name that all the animals in the forest are bowing to. Is a name that all the personalities and all the people in the earth are bound to is a name that is above every name. Is a name that saves. Is a name that redeemeth. Is a name that changes. Is a name that reforms. Is a name that empowers. Is a name that is above every name. I thank you, my Lord, for this moment. I want to tell you something, my sister, my brother. So many people have names that they depend on. But at the end of it, they fear. They fail. Many people are depending on the names of the physicians, medical physicians. Many people are depending on philosophers with all the philosophical statements that they make. Many people depend on the names of musicians. They know that there is no any other name above the physicians. Many people depend on the names of those associates. I want to tell you that all those that have mentioned are dying all those that are mentioned are perishing and going and not coming back again. But I'm talking about the name whose bearer died and the third day rose up and he was alive again. He is living and he is who he is forever and forevermore. Amen. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the deliverer of mankind. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the giver of life. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. In fact, there is something I need to tell you, that without Christ, lives of those that you are seeing would have been miserable. And because of His grace, that is not discriminative. Because of His grace, that is not selective. And because of his grace, that does not depend on human technology. Because of his grace, that depends on human appointment. And because of his grace, that depends on things that we see. We are born again. We are saved. Because of the grace that the name Jesus Christ has. That is what I want to tell you. Jesus not only came for the Jewish, he came for the whole world. He came for the Europeans. He came for the Americans, both the Northern and the Southern Americans. He came for Africans. He came for the Asians we're seeing. He came for the crippled and the blind. He came for the deaf and the mad. He came for the tall and the short. He came for the white and the brown. He came for the white and the black. He came for every humanity. That is why I'm talking about the name. It's a name that can take you from ground to the sky. Take you from one level to the other. Turn around your life. Some people might have been praying, might have been praying so that your life could be miserable. But I want to challenge them that anybody 
who has accepted Christ as his personal savior has a strong tower, has a strong pillar, has a strong foundation. Yes, he has the reason to say that I am saved. He has the reason to say that I am protected. He has the reason to say that I am equipped to face the battle. Yes, in the body with Christ is all equipped. That is what I want to talk about. The name of Jesus Christ. When Jesus himself was about to go back to where he came from, he gathered his disciples and said, Yes, go and preach the word of God, the gospel of redemption, the gospel of salvation to all the humanity, to all the creatures. Then, by my name, all the devils will go. You cast away all the devils. With my name, all the sick shall be healed. With my name, all the demonic possessed shall be relieved. In my name, you shall get power and authority over the normal and the abnormal over the supernatural and the natural. Yes, over the kingdoms of the world. Yes, over the norms of the world. Yes, you shall have dominion over every creation. By my name, the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above all the names, the name that can make a poor person be rich, a name that can make a mad person be sane. A name that can change your sinful nature into heavenly nature. It is the name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the name. Moses was worried that yes, God, you're sending me to your people. But in case Pharaoh asked me of who you were, what name shall I give? Meaning that Moses knew that when it comes to delivering, it comes to redeeming somebody, it needs a name. Not just a name. That a name that is above every name. A name that is mighty. A name that is powerful. A name that is all conquering. A name that is all winning. A name that is victorious. A name that is powerful. Yes! I know that you, you might be in a position or not in a position but things are not doing well in your life. You are being shaken in your place of work. You are being shaken in your home. You are being shaken in your own house. You are being shaken in your business. You are being shaken wherever you go. You feel like God is not on your path. God is not on your side. The reason why you are feeling so is because you have not received Christ Jesus is your personal savior. Those who are saved are automatically made the children of the high most God. Yes, stipulated in the book of Gospel of John 3.16 as you go down. Ah, those who accept Christ are made the children of God. A child of the high most king. A child of the curator of the universe and the world. A child of God. And I am the child of God. What can I lack? If I am the child of God. Who can face me? For it is written in the Bible. That he that is in me. Is greater than he that is outside. That there is no any weapon. Fashioned against me. Shall never prosper. This written in the Bible. 
that whoever has Christ in him shall never be defeated. Always be victorious. No any battle shall ever come before you and gets you down. No any other demonic attack shall ever succeed in your life because of the name that you bear. Because of your new identification. Because of Christ, the Alpha and Omega, the King of all kings, the Son of Jesus. Yes, the offspring of Jehovah obeyed. The offspring of Abraham. The offspring of Jacob. Jesus Christ. That was prophesied by prophets before I was born. Yes, it says, seeing Christ, the Shalom that has been slaughtered. Yes, Jeremiah, seeing Christ, as a brand that is now ground. Yes, Christ's birth, Christ's existence, Christ's salvation was prophesied by the prophets. Coming of Christ here into the world was not accidental. It was with a purpose, for a purpose, and of a purpose. Christ himself. The name Christ is the strongest tower that the weak can run unto. Whether you are an orphan, being bullied by everybody, being teased and mocked by those you are living with, it is the time that I give you hope that you are the reason why Christ came. You are the reason. You might be a mom, a wife to somebody who always beats you like a drum. No peace in the evening, no peace in the morning, no peace in the night because of that man. I tell you there is hope in Christ. The only action that you need to take is to accept Christ as your personal Savior. Yes. When Peter met a crippled man begging for money out of the temple, Acts 3, for those who know the Bible. When Peter and John reached him, the man started asking for money, silver. But because Peter had known the power, the authority that is, invested, that is invested in the name of Jesus Christ, he told the cripple, that man, I don't have the money. I don't have the silver. I don't have the gold. I don't have the diamond. I don't have the bronze. I don't have everything. But what I have is in the name of of Jesus Christ stand and walk the name that met the cripple walk the name that met the blind see the name that met the sick get well the name that brings the law to the high the name that changes around the lives and circumstances of the people the name that is above every name the name Jesus Christ yes that is the name that I talk about. That is the dream that I talk about. Is a name that salvages us from the circumstances that are around us. I know that you are educated. You got the papers. You got everything. Your academic testimonials is very clear. But there is one thing that atonishes you. That all those years that have been having the papers, there is no job. You have been walking from one office to another. You have been writing applications, but there is no anything good coming out of that. But I want to tell you today that Jesus himself has got the answer. He has the remedy to your problem. The only thing that you need to take is to say, God, today I'm receiving your personal Savior. Never, never fear. Never look around. Never be overwhelmed by the circumstances. Come to Christ. I want to pray with you now. 
My sister, my brother, I want to play with you. I want you to stretch your hands towards the TV so that we pray together. I want you to believe that the name that is above every name is there for you. It's there to redeem you. It's there to uplift you. It's there to console you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take this a divine moment that you have given us to share your word. Your word and your name are one. I want to say that Lord, my sister, my brother, that is watching you now, is in a dilemma. He doesn't know where to, and he doesn't know what to do. Lord, as you are Lord, and because your name is the strongest star, is the shield that we use when it comes to spiritual warfare. Father, help her. We and by your name, save her. Redeem her from the problems that she's undergoing. Lord, give her a new beginning. Give her a new name. Bring forth a new circumstance. For we are being confronted with famine, diseases, rejection. Lord, come for their rescue. Hold them because they are children. Accept them to enjoy the benefits of your kingdom because they have accepted your name. Father, thank you because you have healed him. You have healed her. Your name has cast out the demons from her and from him. Father, I pray for my family. I pray for my wife, Marceline Apio Maruchi. I'm praying for the church that I minister, the church of the finished work at Calvary. I pray for your church in the whole world. Pray for the ministers. I pray, Lord, for the beyond the deals that has already given us this golden chance. I pray for the ministers. I pray for Kenya. I pray for the whole world. Father, I thank you because of your mercies and because of your grace. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. For those who might need my number, so that might contact each other after this, because of the problems that you undergo, this is my number. 7 400 87 57 5 I repeat, 7 400 87 57 5 If you want to come and worship with me, come to Kibera, a place called Olympic. I'll light there and call me using the same number. I'll take you from there. May God bless you as you enjoy your Christmas uh, season. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Eternal Father, I offer you.